If we take a quick look below here at the code, we have this function here called random encoder. This is used every time your implant or your server want to send a message back and forth. They'll call random encoder. Random encoder will pick one of the encoders that are defined uh, in the configuration above. So you have an array here uh, called encoder map where all of these will be loaded in. And it'll just return one of those randomly. If you take a look at the function code itself, you'll notice there's actually an if else. It'll start by using any custom encoder that you have. So if you've defined a WASM encoder, it'll first try to use one of those WASM encoders. If none of them are available, then it'll switch to using one of the um, default encoders written in Go. So it'll also have a, a small safeguard here. It doesn't try to use WASM encoders for anything above 16 megabytes. Uh, this is really just uh, a default threshold we've set up. Something you should customize based on the type of encoder and how you're trying to hide your traffic and the performance that you have there. 